Grand rising, grand rising, grand rising, y'all. Yes, I'm at it again. I'm going to try to start doing this as much as I can. You know, being on here more. Um, I would like to thank everybody for their likes, their shares, their subscribes, everything that you do for this page. Um, thank you for the donations. Thank you for the shouts out. Excuse me. Thank you for the comments. All of that, y'all. If you would like to book an appointment with me, y'all, please believe. Go to my about. Go to, I'm not sure if I have it in my subscription, my subscription, but I'm going to see about that. But <laughs> moving forward, y'all, maybe yesterday y'all went on a trip. Maybe y'all needed a mini vacation. You know, things like that. Y'all, I'm getting the energy of uh, maybe you feel like you're carrying more of the weight. Being that's being said, y'all, make it make sense. If you feel like you're carrying more of the weight, relax. Relax so they can do their part. Moving forward, make it aware. Make them aware. And honestly, sometimes when you make someone aware, that doesn't mean they're going to even do it. At least they know that you know that they know that you know that you said something. Moving forward, y'all. Um, you may go and buy a product and it may not even be what you thought. You in your head, like in your head, it's like, okay, this gonna glitter like gold. It's gonna glitter because it's gold. Kind of find out you bite into that hole and you see it's copper made. You know what I'm saying? Or this was like, you know, some edible arrangements gold. But y'all moving forward, um, y'all, when it comes down to being calm about things that's happening, stay calm. It's only a test. It's trying to see, have you learned anything, you know, and it's another thing too. Y'all, don't be worried about no money. I'm telling you right now, don't be worried about no money because money flows easily and effortlessly every day. Let's say you feel like you wasted your money on something. Trust me and believe it's going to come back your way. Don't be like, oh, damn, I done wasted my money or I done got this and and, and, and it ain't what I thought. Ugh. Shoot, I ain't never going to. No, don't say that. Dang, it didn't happen like I was. I thought it was going to happen. I didn't get the quality or whatever it was. Always remember, God going to make sure you're going to be satisfied. You're going to be satisfied with what you want. I don't care how many times it takes. You're going to be satisfied with what you are desiring. God's going to make what you do. He's going to give you what you desire. And it's going to even be even more than what you desire. It's going to be better. Like It's going to be like break down your knees and cry and desire. Moving, y'all. So, um, moving. Keep it moving. Moving forward. Y'all, I'm getting the energy that uh, maybe you went to sleep last night late. Maybe you had a lot of stuff on your mind. Maybe you're trying to figure out how to get out of an abusive relationship. I understand. I've been in situations like that. I remember when, you know, I remember when I almost died, you know, trying to, you know, I thought I was using my better judgment, but I really wasn't. And that almost caused me to be somewhere else. It's always something about these earth signs. I ain't going to say their name. But it's always something about this earth sign. Like, he was controlling. He wanted, he knew I can get money. But he thought if he could, you know, try to, not saying control it, but bread crumb or do weird shit for my money to be where it was, he feel like he can have the control over me. But you know me. A bitch ain't going. So, uh, honestly, one day, like, I was fed up. You know what I'm saying? I had to look for me a job around that time, like 2019. <coughs> My bad, y'all. And um, pretty much, I had a friend come over there and help me get a job. Had other people come over there to try to help me. They, he ain't like that shit. He ain't like that shit. He did not like that shit. But he didn't want to help me get a job because he knew when I got a job. You know what I'm saying? You know, it was in itself. 
So he felt like trying to control my stability was a way to control me. One day I had enough of that shit. Then I guess one day he thought I took his keys or something. I hid his keys or something. And trust and believe. He got, he, 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 I don't know. All I know is he started choking me and shit. Try to, he started hitting me like a man and all this crap. And he was drunk, high, whatever. And honestly, when I look at that situation and I look at, you know, that situation, it was very toxic. It was very, very, very toxic. And and in that moment when that situation happened where he damn near killed me, bit my fingers and all that extra shit, I knew that I wasn't never going to be in love with him. I never, I, and, and I never, I, I mean, it was just that. He's that type of person to where even though I don't blame people for what they did, I always keep my motherfucking eyes open. Because you never know what will happen. You never, like, I'm getting all this P-Valley shit. Or a motherfucker trying to do whatever it takes. Just trying to do whatever it fucking takes. To, you know what I'm saying? To create a demise for you. You know what I'm saying? And then I'm getting y'all that when you're doing whatever you're doing, just be watchful of all the motherfucking ear hustlers. Yes, ear hustlers. I be tired of that ear hustling shit. They be they be all in the corners, all in the shadows, like vo- low vibrational ass folks. See what we're not gonna do is we're not gonna ear hustle when you can just sit by, sit around, and 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 and, and, to, and, and so I you know so I can be aware. And I would have told you to get the fuck somewhere and get the fuck out my business. But y'all have honestly, I'm getting the energy that some of y'all are dealing with that every time you say something it seems like you got a second shadow a echo motherfucker want to be just like you motherfucker want to put their ear to the wall with a cup just to see what's being said like like petty energy but y'all moving forward i got another energy that y'all please be watchful of your churn please be watchful of your churn you never know what your churn picking up at school or you never know who's bullying your child ask your child about the people at your school you know i mean at your school at their school maybe he they're going to the same school you used to go to when you was a kid you know what i'm saying making it make sense but i'm getting a lot of energy like you know a child was bullied or has been bullied made fun of or whatever like that, and I feel like, you know, you just have to talk to your child, see what's going on, sometimes you got to listen to understand your child, and some parents don't understand that, like, some children, I get an energy that some kids have been picked on in school, a lot of them, and the ones that were picked on didn't have as much, or didn't have the best clothes, or didn't, you know what I'm saying, and some kids in their heart, they are upset, because they have not gotten nothing yet for school and I understand how you feel but honestly being that I'm a parent I have to keep going whatever I have to do to make sure that I do for my kids I have to do but sometimes it ain't there and maybe your mom or dad bought you some auntie uncle grandma and it wasn't it was just outdated and you went to school or maybe a child went to school or you went to school so when you grew up, you was like, okay, you know what? I'm not going to allow my kid to go through what I went through. It's not that you're going to be like, oh, they're going to have the best Jordans or the best this or the best that, but you're going to buy them what they like, what they want to wear. Because when I was growing up, my mother was trying to pick me anything. When I got 14, 15, I was getting my own jizzob, my own jizzob. But y'all, besides that, I'm really appreciative for all that y'all come on here and listen you know i I say that back was i appreciate all of y'all coming on here to listen to hear the messages y'all all i know is you know just for foremost um if you're trying to get a reading anything like that hit me up text me first because there's too many people that has the same numbers as these 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 telemarketers and trying to call and shit y'all but y'all 
just no affirmation of the day. You can do any and everything you put your mind to. You know what I'm saying? You are never going to let anybody slow your progress down. And you should never let someone throw, throw or slow your progress down because they don't feel as if that's what you're supposed to be doing because your journey is not their choice. It's God's choice. It's how God wants you to do it. It's not how they want you to do it, you know? But I'm letting y'all know right now, hit me up, give me, hit me up for them readings. Readings today are going to be $25 if you're hearing this video. So if you're hearing this video, readings are $25. All readings are $25 today. So hit me up with that. Until the next one, peace.